you view a trailer for the first time, you instantly get an expectation for that film. That expectation can either help or hurt your opinion of the film in question, should you choose to see it. My exact expectation for David O. Russell's joy was that of familiarity, but not in a positive sense. I had loved his rock star cast of Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro, and Jennifer Lawrence in 2012's Silver Linings Playbook. It had spoken to me in a way David O. Russell was unable to do with his previous films. Then when American Hustle came out one year later with the same rock star cast, I was left disappointed, annoyed, and bored. Somehow, Russell had failed to hit any mark that made Silver Linings Playbook a success in my mind, and no Oscar nomination was going to change my opinion of that. So a few months ago, when I saw the first trailer for Joy, I just rolled my eyes. Same actors playing seemingly the same characters for the same director. Perhaps this initial thought ultimately helped me enjoy this film. Joy tells the story of a single mother of two who has found herself as the only financial and emotional support her family has. Unhappy with her life and feeling as if she is in a downward spiral, she begins pursuing the idea she had for an invention. Consumed by her new passion, she attempts to claw herself out of the rut life has thrown her into as everything around her tries to get in her way. Do you pick up the gun? I pick up the gun. As I sat in the theater waiting for the feature to begin, my expectation was to see a film much like American Hustle. A flat, uneventful, boring film with undoubtedly great acting, but ultimately a movie I would not enjoy regardless of its quality performances. What was presented to me instead was a story with significantly more character depth than initially anticipated, and a story more relatable than I had imagined after viewing the two-minute trailer. This was a story of strength and perseverance, a self-made woman trying to reclaim her own life from those who had inadvertently taken control of it. As always is the case with David O. Russell in any of his films, good or bad, amazing performances drove this picture and added depth in unexpected places. Jennifer Lawrence, while more subdued and natural than her two previous films with the acclaimed director, proved to be a powerhouse that could carry the entire film. While I would not go so far as to say that this is one of the best films of the year, although I would not be surprised if it were nominated, and isn't even in my personal top 10 of 2015, this film exceeded my expectations and caused me to utter three words that I rarely say regarding movies. I was wrong.